Uh, today I'm going to attempt uh, a deep dish pizza in my large iron skillet here. We've got some uh, pepperoni, sausage, mushroom, black olive, onion, and I use these Bobola pizza sauces. They're pretty good. Don't have to fuss with making up a sauce that way. And I'm going to, for the first time, try these Pillsbury pizza crusts. Now I've got two of these containers. I'm going to uh, fold both of them, both of them together in a uh, dough ball, and go from there. Okay, I've combined two of the Pillsbury pizza crust tubes into one dough ball here, and we're going to work this and uh, make it just slightly uh, bigger than the size of my pan here. Try to get pretty close, a little bit bigger because I want to have a kind of a thick crust around the top here. I'm going to get a general shape started here. Just kind of keep pushing away. Make it a little bigger. Okay. Oop, oop, almost lost it there. And very carefully you want to kind of pull from the center out. I'm going to keep these edges kind of thick, and I'll show you why here. You can just kind of work your way around. Do you have to be kind of quick. I'm trying not to get any holes torn in it. Takes a little time, but be patient. It'll you'll get it where you want it. Just got to keep working it. All right, I uh, got the dough worked out to about the size I want. I'm just kind of, it's a little bigger than the bottom of the skillet, that's what I was looking for. You just want to kind of roll up the sides like this. And I'm going to, uh, before I top it, put this in the oven for a few minutes give the crust a little bit of a head start because it's pretty thick in places and I want to make sure it's cooked. But I want this, uh, it's up about an inch and that way I can pile it deep with toppings. So we'll get this in the oven, I've got it preheated to 400 degrees, we'll put it in there for about five minutes or so. And you want to watch it, if it starts bubbling up just poke the bubble, it'll go back down. So we'll stick this in the oven for five minutes. Be right back. Okay, everybody, our uh, crust has been in the oven for about seven to eight minutes. And it's kind of, I guess, pre-cooked a little bit. But if you can see the uh, high crust on the outside there I put in. And that's so we can put all kinds of ingredients in there. This is going to be about a... Uh, well, it's a 12 inch pizza and it's going to weigh probably three and a half to four pounds when we're all done. Okay, we're getting this pizza dressed out here. We're going to, uh, we got one pack of bobley sauce in there. We're going to do a layer of pepperoni. We're going to, basically it's a carpet of pepperoni for all you pepperoni fans. We'll put a little sausage in there. Got some straight shredded mozzarella here. So I'll put a little bit on there. And we're going to go another layer. And this time I'm not going to put the pepperoni on quite as heavy. A little more sausage. And we'll do a little more cheese. So have multiple layers of toppings here. This is going to be one slice and you've probably had enough to eat kind of pizza. Okay. And we'll go a few black olives. I'll sprinkle them on here. A little white onion. 
and some mushroom. Unfortunately, I got stuck with canned mushrooms. They had no mushrooms at my grocery store. I have a terrible grocery store in my neighborhood. And I'm going to take another bubbly sauce. I'm probably not going to use a whole pack. I'm going to put a little sauce on top here. Oh, what the heck, we'll use the whole pack. You can handle it. Smooth that around on there. And then the uh, final layer of cheese. Alright. There we have Scotty's uh, cast iron Franken pizza. Boy, there's a lot of stuff on here. I'm going to pop this in the oven. I really have no idea how long it's going to take to finish. But uh, we're at 400 degrees. Let's see what happens. Okay everybody, our pizza was uh, in the oven for just about 25 minutes. We're going to let it sit here and cool just a little bit before we cut it. Looks like it turned out really good. Okay, here's our pizza. Uh, it came out of the pan real easy. I keep my pans nice and seasoned and it just slid right out no problem so let's uh, give it a cut here and see what we got some heavy-duty pizza okay there you have it my version of a uh, deep dish pizza in a cast iron skillet Thanks for watching Cast Iron Culinaries and uh, we'll see you at the next video.